Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you are doing well. So in this Salesforce Agent Force series, in previous video, we have understood about the Agent Force vibe. In that introduction, we have seen how is the Agent Force vibes different than the Agent Force for developers. So in that, the important difference was in the Agent Force for developers, we can generate the SQL queries, Apex classes, LWC component, batch classes. But after generating these components from the Agent Force for developer, we need to copy these components and then we only needed to create files and after that we was able to create the components in the salesforce org but now using the agent force vibe we only need to give the prompt and according to the given prompt the agent force vibe automatically create the apex classes sql queries lwc component batch classes and it also create the files for them and also it deployed to the salesforce org so in previous video we have seen the agent force vibe introduction the video link i will give one in description box you can go through it so there you will be get more understand about the agent force vibe and the agent force for developer now in this video we will be understand how we can create the apex class and lwc component using the agent force vibe and deploy it to the salesforce org so to understand how we can create the apex class and the lwc component using the agent force vibe and deploy it to the salesforce org Watch this video till the end and don't miss any step and if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get regular updates. So here as I navigate to the account object, let me open any account. So here you can see here we don't have any lightning data table that means in this video what we are going to do we will create the LWC component using the agent force wipe where we will create the lightning data table and there we will add all the accounts that we have and then that data table we will add on this record page now let me open the vs code now as i click on this agent for swipes now here you can see here we have mcp server enabled so this mcp server helps to the agent for swipe to deploy the component from the VS code or other any IDE to the Salesforce org. And also here you can see here we have some actions as I expand these actions. And now here you can see here we have some commands enable auto approve after that read project files and then edit project files. So here I will disable this command which is auto approve. Now why I disabled this command because while creating the component this agent force wipe it will approve unnecessary components. So here if you disable that one then this agent force wipe ask us take approve from the users so that when we give the approve after that only it will create the component so here we have enabled only read project files and then edit and then edit project files now let me close this one and now here i am giving the actual command so here i have given create an lwc component to display accounts in the lightning data table and then deploy the component to salesforce org now in the agent force for developer we can only create the LWC component but it was actually doesn't create the files and it was not able to deploy these components to the salesforce org but this agent force wipe can automatically create the files and also it has ability to deploy the component to the salesforce org because of this mcp server now let's give this command Now here you can see it has created the LWC component and here you can see because of we have disabled the auto approve it is asking us to save or reject the file and here you can see agent force want to create new file so here is the path where will be the HTML file will get create so here you can see here we have the file name account data table dot HTML so this file name also the agent force wipe has been own created by their own now as I click on this save button so it has been actually created this account data table html file after that it has created this account data table js file here you can see again it is asking for the approve so here as i click on this approve and the file get created and now it is asking to create the xml file which is meta.xml so this one also we need to create because this file we used to deploy the component to the salesforce org so here I am clicking on save 
So here the agent force wipes has been created three files which is HTML file, then JS file and then meta.xml file. Now here you can see the agent force has question which is I created the LWC file but the JavaScript reference and Apex class method account data table controller dot get accounts which doesn't exist in your own repo 8. That means to retrieve the data from the salesforce org to an VS code here we don't have any controller so here we need to create the apex controller for that the agent force wipe has suggested add apex controller and deploy lwc plus apex and then use get list ui no apex and deploy just the lwc so here we want to fetch the record for that so here we want to create the apex controller for that here i am selecting this one so it's requesting and here you can see the account data table controller class has been successfully created now again here you can see agent force want to create new file so here i am clicking on save and with the controller class here you can see the agent force wipe also created the meta.xml file for the apex class so here also so this file also we need for that here i am clicking on save button Now here you can see it is asking for the get username that means agent force want to use tool and salesforce dx mcp server so here why it need to use because since i have multiple org so here in which org we want to deploy this component so for that it is asking for that username so here you can see so for that we need to give approve for this command so here i am clicking on approve and now it's actually deploying the data to the salesforce org and also here you can see the default org which is agent force which is agent org so here we want to deploy this component to our this org for that as i click on this approve now it's actually deploying the component and here you can see as i click on this approve button Here you can see deploy metadata that means our metadata has been successfully deployed to our salesforce org so here is the deployed result and then as i scroll down here you can see task completed here you can see implemented and deployed the lwc component that displays account in the lightning data table including an apex class controller for the server side querying with the search and sorting so this way this agent force wipe has created lwc component after that as I scroll down the apex class and it has deployed this LWC component and the apex class to our salesforce org. And here we forgot very important thing when the agent force create these files first we need to review these files if there you want to modify anything or not. So here let me open the files there you can see the files that agent force web has been created so here you can see so here you can see these open files. And also in the classes folder here you can see account data table controller class then let me show you the lwc components here you can see account data table as i expand this one account data table html file js file and then meta.xml file now let me open this html file so here i just scroll down so here we don't have any error you need to review this file your own like what type of design you want after that what type of logic you want to implement and then as I open this JS file, here you can see for this lightning data table, it has added some columns. Obviously, you can change the columns, you can add as per your requirement. And now here you can see I am not deploying this LWC component to the Salesforce org because we have seen this agent force wipes has ability and it has deployed this component to our Salesforce org. So now let's navigate to the Salesforce org. As I refresh the page. Here you can see here we don't have any component so to display the component what we need to do we need to add the lwc component to our record page for that as i click on this gear icon then click on this edit page button and now here you can see here we have the components in this search now in the components as i search for the file that we created for the lwc component so here we have created account data table here you can see under the custom we have the account data table lwc component 
Now as I drag this and now here I want to drop over here. So here you can see the LWC component has been added. Now as I click on the save button, let's ignore this message, click on save. Again let me click on save button. Again as I navigate to this account record page. And this time here you can see we got the lightning data table in our account object on the account record page. So if you have observed, we have created this lightning data table, we have created the apex class and also we deployed the LWC component in your Salesforce org. This we have did just within 5 to 6 minutes. So in this way, this agent force wipes helps to the Salesforce developers to create the Salesforce components and deploy to the Salesforce org. So I hope you have understood how we can create the apex class and the LWC component using the agent force wipe and deploy to the Salesforce org. And also I hope you have understood the difference between the agent force for developer and then agent force wipe where the agent force for developer is only able to create the component. It, it, it doesn't has the ability to create the files and deploy to the Salesforce org like the agent force wipe in Salesforce. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you.